Hello, Birmingham. How are you all today? Um, I have to say it's utterly, utterly delightful um, to see many of you in person um, who I haven't seen for several years, and some of you who have been building relationships with for the last few years, and we can play the guessing game of how tall are you. And I have to say there's been a good few shocks, um, so that was quite fun. Anyway, um, so I'm going to talk about um, uh, Alleviate today. Um, so we are a new kid on the block, um, as, as Datamind is, um, and we're also, as well as, as, as part of HDI UK, we're part of the advanced pain discovery platform as well, and that's called APDP. So I'm going to be talking about how we're working within these larger initiatives uh, to make a real difference to make pain data available for research at scale. So, problem statement. Um, there are many different silos of uh, data out there and many different pain disciplines. They don't tend to talk to one another. Their data sets are known about via word of mouth. Um, and in contrast to quite a lot of other areas of research, there's actually very few data sets out there in pain research, and we're trying to transform this, uh, this landscape. Um, <clears throat> so with, with Alleviate, what you have to do first of all before you want to collaborate with us is, uh, is learn how to increase your lung capacity. So are we ready? The vision. <gasps> To transform pain, uh, UK pain data sets to be findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, that's otherwise known as FAIR, link with expert data engineering integrated into the HDI UK Innovation Gateway to enhance responsible, timely, and trustworthy analysis oh, by national and international researchers and innovators. I don't know quite what I... I probably drank a bit too much coffee when I came up with that. Um, so, APDP. Um, so, uh, I don't know if, if you guys are aware, there was a, 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 a report in the BBC reasonably recently. One in four people in the UK have chronic pain. Um, and there are very, very few um, treatments for this, and, and it causes a massive, uh, massive problem. I myself, um, my, my other half, um, suffers from chronic pain, and it affects absolutely everything, and it's utterly debilitating. So I'm really kind of glad to be working in this. So um, APDP was, was great because they recognised that there needed to be new pain research, um, and they funded a five-year uh, initiative, uh, which, which was uh, launched last year, national-scale consortium-based platform um, to break through the complexity of uh, chronic pain and reveal new treatment approaches. Um, so it's initially had £34 million of funding, and there's more funding coming down the line, and it's got uh, five funders uh, behind it. So uh, Alleviate was funded at exactly the same time as four large consortia, and that's Painstorm, Advantage, Cape, and Crisp, and they're all looking at different areas of, of, of pain research. And then since then, there's been another uh, tranche of funding for, for 11 new projects. And so what we're doing is we're sitting in the middle, we're trying to work with them on data standards, we're trying to work with them to make sure it's easy for, for other people to get access to this data, um, and we're trying to streamline the process in which you can get uh, data governance and, and, and components like that. Um, so we're very much part of that, but at the same time, we're also trying to onboard other pain data sets that didn't exist before APDP um, as well. So we sit right in the middle between um, HDI UK, learn from best practice and, and standards there, and also this wider network to really try and bring those silos all, all together within, uh, within Alleviate. Um, the uh, co-applicants were all chosen based, as you can tell, from their amazing good looks. We were very fortunate that they were also international experts um, in pain research um, as well. Uh, and we also have a, a great um, uh, co-PI uh, 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 group as well. Um, so this is uh, some of the uh, Alleviate team. Uh, unfortunately, Jenny, uh, the deputy director, couldn't, couldn't make it today. Uh, neither could Scott. But we have, uh, we have Richard and we have uh, Chris Hall here, and they'll be out at the stand. So please do go and, go and natter with them at some point. So we're covering a range of different pain disciplines, um, all listed there. And we're very much a, a UK-wide um, initiative as well. Um, so we've got uh, four, uh, five different work packages, PPIE, program management, data onboarding, uh, federation and automation, and we've got a next generation safe haven. So we've gone through the first bit, which is establishing the hub. We're in the process of, uh, of uh, setting up all of the service and things with the idea that by the end of, of our three-year funding, we'll be fully uh, sustainable, as are with all of the other hubs. Um, so we've up, uh, onboarded our metadata into the um, HDI UK in Innovation Gateway, um, and that's basically a, a data dictionary. 
Um, uh, but what we're also doing is onboarding our data into an, another uh, uh, tool, which is available from the gateway, um, and that's the cohort discovery search tool. And this is, uh, this is something uh, new um, that's actually been uh, set up as part of a, another initiative that, uh, that I'm leading uh, with, with, with Phil, who's going to be talking in a bit, um, called, uh, called CoConnect. And so CoConnect has been all about how do you make COVID data uh, discoverable uh, across uh, across the UK, um, and so this is uh, this initiative has basically onboarded this new capability um, within the uh, within the gateway. So we've been working on trying to. to uh, develop a video explaining how CoConnect works. And so I'm just going to give you a little bit of a, of a clip about this. We're still working on it. It's going to come up on our, our website quite soon. So it's not completely um, uh, finalized yet. But just to give you a little understanding as to how cohort discovery works um, in a dynamic way rather than uh, just a, a data dictionary. CoConnect allows researchers to search and compare data across the UK through one website, the Health Data Research Innovation Gateway. Importantly, the data doesn't move from the partners who own it, and they have the final say on who can access it. Within each CoConnect data partner, a secure computer is set up, which is separate from the location where identifiable data is stored. A copy of relevant data in a common format is transferred onto the computer without any identifiable information. This is known as pseudonymous data. For example, information like names, addresses, dates of birth and specific dates of testing or care are removed. Before the data is transferred, the unique number for each person is converted into a new pseudonymous code by each partner. In our example, all that is transferred about Jane Doe is the pseudonymous code and that this person had a positive PCR test on the second week of August 2020. Software within the secure environment will send a message out to the gateway which will return any questions which need to be run on the data. The software will return a summary answer to each question as the number of the people which meet the criteria, helping researchers discover the most useful data. In this example, there were 102 people in the dataset who have had a PCR test which was positive and were under the age of 40. To make sure people cannot be identified, each partner can set a threshold in which no results are returned. For most, this means only results with more than 10 people are returned. The same question is automatically run across all data partners providing the information from across the UK. The Gateway website and CoConnect only ever see anonymous data and so will never find out who a person is. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an, an idea of, ha of how it works. Um, this is the, uh, the, the interface. Um, it's live. It's available um, on, the, uh, on the gateway right now. And you can go and have a, a nosy and a play around with it and, and see, what it, uh, see what it can do. Um, so the Alleviate uh, hub is both a federated and uh, a centralized uh, hub, so a hybrid model. Um, so it basically means that people can, can onboard their data, make it uh, available, and we'll work with them to, to streamline access to it, or they can send the data to us and we'll host them, manage it for them. Um, all of those different groups are, are making the data available in, in that tool. And then should people want to analyze the data for a specific research project, as with good practice on all of the other hubs, the data is accessed within a, a trusted research environment. Um, and we've been developing as part of um, uh, Alleviate what we describe as our next generation safe haven environment, which is uh, developed in partnership with uh, AWS in, in the cloud. And it supports uh, multi-omic data and also machine learning and, and AI and uh, development and things. Um, if you want to chat with us about any of those things, please do come and talk. Um, so uh, PPIE is um, most definitely not just a, a tick box. We, I'm delighted to say our two PPIE co-leads, Julian and uh, Gillian and um, Anthony, are sitting here today. Um, we've also got a PPIE group and a, a larger um, a reference, uh, reference group as well. And they're heavily involved in, in all of the meetings and on all of the things we do. And it, I have to say, it really does add value to, to, to these sorts of initiatives. Um, so the activities, this is my last, uh, last slide, things we're up to at the moment. Uh, collaborating with groups to onboard the existing pain data sets into the hub and also into the cohort discovery tool. Uh, streamlining uh, data, uh, data governance and access processes. Enhancing our TRE uh, to support multi-omic data. Investigating how to support non-clinical data, such as uh, animal models. There's a huge amount of data out there for, for pain in this area. Um, enhancing cohort discovery and federated analytics. Uh, building up the relationship with, uh, with the APDP consortia um, in preparation for, for when they do get a lot of data. So we're envisaging kind of year three, we'll get, get a huge amount of new data uh, coming on board. 
Um, and also, we're, we're investigating new data sets uh, from, from lots of routinely collected data sources. Turns out that read codes are only used in 0.2% of cases for chronic pain. Um, and so it's actually very, very difficult to find people with uh, chronic pain within the routinely collected data sets. Um, so we're working with, with a range of different groups around kind of algorithms to find people with chronic pain. So we are really, really keen to collaborate with other hubs. And um, thank you very much for, for listening to me today. <laughs>